This is Gary Atencio with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. We're here with Rete Realty. Aaron, Chris, you guys have bringing over eight years of real estate here to the people. It's a great combination with you and Remax. What got you involved in real estate in general? So Aaron and I took a motorcycle trip around the world. It lasted about four and a half years. The only other people that were out there traveling for an extended period of time had investment properties where they had residual income coming in. And we realized that that was a great opportunity and way to build for our future. What better way to learn about investment properties than to become a realtor? Well, let me ask you, Aaron, as far as the passion of real estate, it's still there for you. I know the market's changing all the time. Absolutely, because you're helping people every day. The bottom line is you're helping them to buy or sell their home. And that's an important piece of somebody's life. And that's what makes it exciting. No matter what's going on, the changes in the market, the bottom line is we're still helping people. How important are those relationships and why is it more important today than ever before? Oh, it's huge. I mean, our business is all referral based. There are some agents who have success with uh, lead generation systems and, and work in the internet. For us, it's all about forming relationships. Most of our clients are our friends today. Continue to try to meet with them even outside of the real estate market for just building friendships and relationships. What I really enjoyed about working with Chris and Aaron uh, was especially Chris always talked about the goal and what was the goal that we had in mind when we were trying to, to set, first sell our townhouse and then buy our current home. And so keeping us on track and on target and understanding what that goal was, we were able to uh, go through all those transactions, sell the one townhouse and buy the new house exactly as planned. And he kept all the emotions low and kept us right on track with the purchases. What I liked what, about working with Chris and Aaron was they didn't just try to sell us a house. He was very concerned with selling us the right house. Everything went really well. And we, I felt like we could really rely on Chris and Aaron. And, and, and for me, just the knowledge and of, of the whole process and keeping us um, informed every step of the way and and uh, um, kind of shepherding us through everything, it was great. We caught up with you guys getting some ongoing training. How important is that? Mm -hmm. Well, especially on the technology side of things, that is where the market is going. If you want to have your buyers see your listings, you have to make sure that your listings are advertised in all of the current websites that are out there. It needs to be sexy, it needs to be current, and then also the same thing with buyers. We need to know where the buyers are looking and what they're using for their search vehicles and making sure that our Remax search vehicle is, is a good one for them and how they can use that to their maximum benefit. This kind of training is invaluable and agents who don't get regular training are going to be behind the curve. And you can't afford to be behind the curve in this in this market. No. There's no possible way. Speaking of getting out there and putting the listings, I mean, it used to be real simple. You put the house up, you put a price on it, somebody come out and buy it, right? I mean, really, you've got to bring some experience when it comes to actually listing at the correct price and then negotiating. I imagine your experience comes in heavy as that. Oh yeah. One of the things we do right at the beginning is we have a stager come in to the property that we hire and then what we also do is take our sellers out to look at the competition because they're now going to be in a competitive marketplace and what we need them to do is find out um, what buyers are going to see in those competing properties and actually we, we ask our sellers a little bit of a test about each home that we go into that are better than the property that we're going to sell because that's what buyers are going to do. And then from a negotiation standpoint, yeah, uh, we travel a lot in developing countries where there's a lot of, of corrupt situations and uh, we're really good at negotiating. So we kind of bring that experience to the table too, which is fun. I love it. So you not only tell them what you should be putting it at, you show them the reason behind it. It's a team effort. You know, we're there to give advice. You know, some people, everybody has different goals. Some people are trying to move because they uh, they need a certain amount of money to, to move on to another project or they uh, have family somewhere else. And so what we say is we can price it at a variety of different levels, but here's the expectation. If we price it here, we should be able to move it pretty quickly. If we price it up here at a premium, maybe we're going to be around for a little while and, and really does that meet our goals of trying to be uh, with your family at a certain time of the year. So we leave it in their hands and give them to make it easier. And that is so important because you got to know where they're at. Do they want to sell tomorrow? They want to sell next year? Exactly where they're at, which is wonderful. Now, obviously, the worst thing you want to do is have someone list it and just sit on it. Mm -hmm. And so obviously, work is very important here. There's a lot going on behind the scene that I don't think the viewers realize. Speaking of work, your work ethic, 
mm -hmm. is very cool because it's a work hard, play hard. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay. We see this as our full-time career and, and we tell our clients we're, we're basically available for them 24-7. And I know that sounds sort of canned, but it really is true. There's a lot of conversations that take place for us and the clients at 10 o'clock at night that goes into 11 or 12 o'clock at night. We work really, really hard for 10 months of the year every single day, but we do like to play and our play involves going away and we do like to go to developing countries and we have a motorcycle overseas and we will go away for two months a year and explore the world. But what that brings back is invaluable experience to the clients in terms of negotiating what Chris said, dealing with ambiguity and being able to problem solve. I love it and it basically recharges your batteries, make sure you're passionate for your client and when you're passionate for your client, that's something great for them. Oh, absolutely. I mean, one of the things that we really enjoy is when our clients can look at us straight in the face and, and just say thank you. Um, you know, you really just helped us out. And we actually spend a lot of time trying to talk buyers out of buying potential homes because, as we point out, uh, three months, six months, a year from now, it's not going to be emotional. You're gonna, they're going to be dealing with the property. And so we want to make sure that they're going to be happy. And in addition, uh, we let them know that we're in this because we're looking for three referrals from each of our clients. They understand that we're working on building a relationship and making sure that they're happy because if they're not happy, we're not going to get those referrals. Speaking of happy, you guys are known for going the extra mile. Part of it is the traveling. We did earn a Guinness World Record for under an epic journey for the longest motorcycle ride by a team. You're hitting some records out there in your playtime, but you guys are hitting records as top producers as well, which is I, th I think is fantastic. Folks, their website at the bottom of the screen right there. Keep in mind, you can go to their website, and you've got a lot of tools there at your disposal, first of all. You can take a look at a lot of the testimonials, and you're going to see these relationships they build up are something that's going to benefit you, be it a buyer or a seller. You can also see they have an MLS listing there, a whole resource page where they can walk you through quite a, quite a few things. Let me ask you, the relationships out there that you're building, can you think of any stories you could share? Every day is a story. I mean, most of what we do has very little to do with sales. It's more about being counselors and making sure that, that our folks are happy. So stories, um, just the other night we were out with a married couple. They're about to have a baby in, in a few months. She loved the property. He came into the property, he wasn't really sure. And we had that hard conversation. We just said, listen, if you both aren't on the same page and one of you makes a decision to appease the other one, again, six months or a year from now, you guys are gonna be living in that house. And if it's not really the right thing for you, we need to keep looking. And we kind of do that sort of stuff every day. I can see why you guys are getting many referrals out there. Matter of fact, it's really a referral-based business that you guys have created here. You've actually, on purpose, it seems like, have kept your client base rather small so you can serve them greatly. Yeah, and we believe our clients become our friends. And we want to be there for them long after the transaction ends. I mean, we want to be the resource for them. If they need a nanny down the road, we can help them with that. If they need a plumber, whatever, if they want to plug in and start a new business, we've got business connections for them in the community to get their a new business off the ground. So we want to be there for them and we want to work with people who we really like. So one of the ways to do that is to keep your client base small and then get referrals from your client base because they're going to refer people just like them. Absolutely. Speaking of some of the tools you guys have out there, tell me about this homesincolorado.com that's being launched here. So I'm really excited about this because I really love technology. I claim that I, I stay on top of it. Uh, whenever new products come out, we actually go out, uh, buy them, test them, because we want to make sure that our customers are not ahead of us on the curve. And finally now with the Homes in Colorado, it wasn't a great platform before. The new platform is really interactive and it allows our clients to have the same kind of power that we have. Yeah. And we find that empowering our clients with information is what they want. The more informed and educated they are, the better it is for all of us as a team. Absolutely. And just like you said earlier, Aaron, you're available 24-7. Technology makes it true. And if you're part of their listing, you can see the new homes out there. It's fantastic. Absolutely. It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Folks, if you take a look at the website, their contact information is at the bottom of the screen there as well. And what you're going to find out basically is you've got a team out here who brings their experience to you. They want to make sure that you are getting the amount of money you want when you sell that home. And if you're out there buying a home, you're getting the most home possible for that money. And that's really an art that takes some serious experience and that's what the team down here does for you. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV and if you don't know, now you know.